this is what you need to make your dog a nail scratch board. You see the 3M safety walk. There is a roll of it, comes in different widths. My width is four inches. You need a small ruler, a magic marker, a pair of scissors, and of course, a board. It's so easy to make, so let's get started. I'll list all these supplies in the description below. First, you need a board. I like to use a board that's unpainted and smooth and I can just wipe it off. But this one is so long that I decided that I'm not gonna use this, I'm going to use a smaller painted board, make it easier for you to see. So the board I chose is just a little stool. We're gonna cover it with safety walk tape. And this is four inches in width. Nice part about this tape is you don't have to nail it on or staple it on. When you're working, putting it, putting sandpaper on, I don't know how they attach it. That's why I love this safety walk tape because all you do is literally take the backing off. There we go. You can see the paper tears off, you can throw it away, and this has a sticky surface. Before you take the sticky tape off, you lay it down on your board. You measure it. I know it's four inches. Will give me room to put the, pull the safety walk tape over the other edge. So it'll be a nice tight fit. All four edges are covered. Put a mark on the tape. Then I'm gonna cut it. This stuff cuts pretty easy. So there I have my first piece that will go down over the edges and also down over the front of this one. And so this is the way I start. I cut all the pieces first, so now all I have to do is just put them on the board. All done. Took longer to take the sticky paper off than it did to do the actual scratch board. Now we'll see how Nikki likes her new scratch board. How do we get our dog to scratch and do their nails? First, if your dog knows how to do paw, that's great. Ask them to give paw. If they don't, we need to teach them to touch something. So see if you can get them to tap your hand. Put your hand down and see if they will tap it with their hand, with their paw. If they are doing it with their mouth, that's not what you want. You want a tap with your, with their paw. Nikki, tap, one, tap, come on. Nikki, tap, good. As Soon as they tap, you're going to give them a piece of chicken. Try it again, there's nothing in your hand you're just getting to see if you can get them to tap at your hand. Nikki, tap. Good. As soon as she taps, I'm clicking. So you're teaching your dog to tap your hand. You can click, you can do a mouth click, you can say yes, whatever you want to do, but just mark what they're doing when they tap your hand with their paw. Let's try it again. Nikki, tap. Good. So, and Nikki gets a piece of chicken. Now, how are we going to transfer this to a board. So first we're gonna put the board down and we're gonna lean it against my knee and we're gonna put my hand on the board. Good. And as soon as she taps my hand, we're gonna click and we're gonna feed her. Really easy because most dogs wanna paw at your hand so let them do it. Okay, we'll do it again. I am going to click and feed her for any motion that she makes contact with that board. 
gonna put my hand down again. She has her hand, she has her paws on the board. So now it's just a matter of getting her to put the paw on the board. And then I feed her. Go ahead. Good girl. Nice job. Good girl. I use chicken for this. I want it to be a really, really high value food. So once your puppy gets the idea what you want, good girl, and you're clicking for any contact, then it's just a matter of clicking for when they are making contact with the board. Good girl. So it won't take your dog very long before they start to realize that pawing at the board is a great thing to do. It's all started because Nikki was terrified to have her front nails touched. I can dremel her back nails, but not her front nails. Nikki actually enjoys this. You need the nail board to be upright so your dog can scrape down over the board and file the nails. And now as you can see, I'm actually withholding the click until three or four seconds. So she's not just doing it once, she's actually filing it a number of times. Go ahead, Nikki, file your nails. Good girl. Good. You wanna make sure that both feet are evenly filed. So if they start to work on one foot, then you encourage them to work on the other foot as well. Because she likes to do one foot and not the other. So then you tell her, good girl. Okay, other foot, other foot, other foot. Good girl, other foot, other foot, Nick. That a girl. And what do you do? You click immediately, other foot, good. And now you can keep the nails even, trimmed, short. Your dog can have fun. And you don't have to worry about dremeling them or taking them to the groomer to have their nails done. So it's a fun way to make your dog a DIY nail scratch board. Want to see more about Dog Files Nails, go to the playlist I'm listing above. Also take a look at last week's video, how to teach my puppy not to jump up for some great ideas on teaching your dog to sit to be petted. Thank you. Bye from Joyce and Nikki at Diamond Dog Training. Bye-bye.